So today is that day, guys, where you get to see what works were completed on the cottage farmhouse. Yes, this is the cottage farmhouse and we are the Tandis and we welcome you to our YouTube channel, The Tandis Living the Good Life. A quick recap on who we are. Well, we are a diasporan couple who are currently working on relocating back to zimbabwe the land of our ancestors yes so we have been sharing with you our journey from the beginning from when we started on the foundation guys so watch all the previous episodes if you haven't already but some of you have been on this journey with us so you have seen all the work that we have completed so our youtube channel is all about inspiring other diasporians especially the diasporans who've lived in the diaspora for as long as we have. I have actually lived in the UK for 24 years, guys. That's a very long time. And now my husband and I are working on relocating back. So we're here just to inspire. We have great chats in our comment section. So our community is a very vibrant community. Thank you so much for being part of that community. If you are a returning subscriber and if you are a new person watching us, please consider joining this community. It's a very good and friendly one. So this is all the recap of everything we have achieved on our project. We've had the boho installed. We had the roofing done. I mean, every single bit of this project has been done with precision eh? precision we have chosen the contractors ourselves we have shared our experience of doing that with you briefly in um our q a video so what mr tandy did over easter is that he made a 3d model of the house eh? so that we can really uh, share with you the size of this house what it looks like and everything else so he is going to talk uh, briefly more about it and show you he's a very creative man great uh, with putting together models like this and you know what he is the architect he is the one who drew the plans and everything so he is really best placed to tell you everything about the ins and outs and the changes we made and everything so here he is hard at work and i am going to pass over to Zuruvi, Mr. Tandi. This was the original plan of the house. This being the garage, open plan kitchen diner. So all these measurements are in fit. They well. Uh, you can convert them to meters if you want. So this bedroom here, the door was supposed to be here, but then we felt the bedroom was going to be very small. So we got rid of this wall here and we brought the door here. So, well, and then we had to add an extension somewhere here. Right. With this original plan, we came up with a model. This was the model for the house. This is the original model for the house. Can you turn uh, it around to landscape? Landscape? Mm. Well, or I think this one, yeah. this one was the one. So, went to Hobbycraft. Uh, bought some stuff for making the the model house and this was the original model house we had so for our builder we had this plan and the model house it was easy for him to see the finished product before it was uh, completed as you can see that's the garage there and that's the window that's you can see on this one there's no extension the extension was uh, added on later right and then um, 
this model we as you can see over some over a period of time it got dirty and got smashed up and we got rid of it so we are going to be showing you another the renewed version of the model which is uh, over there and after the extension this was the new plan well we were supposed to make this garage uh, into uh, two bits, uh, the, the place where the person who looks after the house um, was supposed to be staying in that place there. And then this bit was supposed to be the garage. So we were going to partition the garage. But that's no longer the plan. We'll leave it as it is. So this is the garage. Uh, open plan living area and this is the toilet and shower now and a small bedroom here another bedroom there the main bedroom and the doorway leading into the walk-in wardrobe and the and suite so this is the new plan this is the new layout you will see in the in the model this is the veranda here when this thing is completed you see the veranda here and this is the famous garage double lockup garage as you can see it is huge uh, this is uh, a scale of uh, is it 2001 Something like that, but it is as it is in real life. All what you can see here uh, it has been scaled down to. Uh, I will have to work it out. Right uh, from the garage into the living uh, lounge, and lounge uh, in some of the videos you actually see our TV is. On this side and there's a sofa here and another sofa here and if you come this way this is where we are going to have our kitchen area there so those lines uh, well I'll have to make some fittings in there anyway if we proceed down there, our washing machine is going to be in this area here and some cupboards on top of the washing machine. And if you have watched the videos, this is our shower area now. And the toilet seat is somewhere here. And the basin is on that side right there is nothing in this bedroom at the moment but if you have watched the videos have you taken the videos of the bedroom our bed is somewhere there that's the plan that's how it is now and from there from the bedroom you go into the walk in uh, wardrobe and our shower area is now there and the tub is somewhere there so this is the model of the house if you have been wondering how it looks like and from the what do you call it the drawn footage you can actually see it starts from this side and then it comes round and round goes round and so how many square feet is this house because i've also had that question in our videos um this is 102 square meters and this is 10 square meters so all in all we've got 112 square meters of space on there so if you are going to be tiling the house you have to know the 
they call the floor they call this the floor area you've got to know, to know the square the square meters or the area of your your space because most of these tilers they do charge per square meter so if you've got 102 square meters they will charge you maybe something like five pounds five dollars per square meter and and don't forget to include the tiles going up the wall if you decide if to you do decide that because <laughs> yeah. we did that <laughs> we, 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 we forgot to factor in that one and then it was a bit of a surprise when they were telling us about the charges because these have got uh tiles they are tiled from floor to ceiling floor to ceiling and you've got to calculate that one as well so we'll be coming back later when the model is completed and she's got the, the roof and stuff and for our project we didn't have uh, a plan plan i did the plan the plan i was showing you and then i did the model and then i just gave it to the builder just like that and then we were told we were told him this is what we wanted to produce and uh, that's how we got our house yeah so this and model mr tandy why i have you created it it makes it easier for those who cannot see or who don't have the, the talent of seeing the completed product in their heads <laughs> this is how you bring everything to life thank you <clears throat> so another thing this man has been tasked with doing is can you film me you have to film me oh yes so another thing zuruvi has been tasked with doing is uh designing my zuruvi's kitchen so he is going to basically design that and show me what it will look like and where it will go and also this is going to help us do the landscaping isn't it yes we're going to try and visualize how the landscaping is going to look we'll do another another model so we've got four of these boards well three now they're not enough they're not enough we need to add some more and then we'll have like a, a big thing of this and it's great for me he was talking about people like me who cannot visualize so this will help us to help us to visualize uh things on the ground yeah so so yeah so we wanted to just show you this guys and um and then stitch in the videos of the house so that it all sort of makes sense as i'm walking around this building So this is the moment you have been waiting for, friends. Drum roll, please. Put a drum roll emoji. So I'm so happy to be able to do this. So we'll start with the roof. That geyser you can see is a solar-powered geyser from Bathroom Boutique to supply the house with hot water. Then we move on to the windows. We have some window sills. I'd never noticed that the window sills we have on the houses in the UK are made from plastic. These ones, my friends, they are made from granite. Here's one I cleaned for you. <laughs> ah, the camera is not doing these things justice. Live and direct, everything looks so beautiful. Then we move on to the veranda. We didn't have any tile on the veranda, so we chose Kilimanjaro. This tile is from Bathroom Boutique. All the tiles are from Bathroom Boutique. The tile that you saw there is also in the garage. So then we move on to the door. So you know, let's do this properly. I had to close the door so that I can say, come in, come in, welcome. But the door is going to be changed for something modern and contemporary. And if you watched episode 14, you know the wahala we faced with those door people from Highland. So, pindai pindai pamzindo amai zuruvi na zuruvi. Come in, come in. So, can you see how our tilers did the tiling? How they cut the tiles? They did a good job, guys. I was impressed. 
if you want their details, look in the description box, okay? So this is where we're going to have our kitchen area. I wanted like a island island situation, but you know, I think I'm going to just have the kitchen like that without an island. So these taps, they work and we're going to have a sink there and the plugs and sockets, they work. Everything is good. Then that's the sitting area. It's all open plan, open plan, you know, and that door leads to the garage area. So this house is a three bedroom house. I will show you one of the bedrooms. They are exactly the same apart from the master bedroom. So in this bedroom, you can actually fit in a double bed, a chest of drawers or a small size wardrobe. So this is the bedroom. The walls are ready for painting. Rhino set was put on the walls. So they are all smoothened out. And just across from that bedroom I've shown you, we've got the bathroom. This is the communal general house bathroom. So we went for a shower because that is what we do 90% of the time. We hardly take baths in this family. So we opted for a shower and that enclosure is from bathroom boutique. And like I said, all the tiles, the non-slip ones in the shower are from bathroom boutique. Um... I actually, we bought, uh, I chose the matte black, by the way, because I want to go for a hotel style boutique bathroom. We chose to have tiles from floor to ceiling. So that it's got that luxurious feel. I'm hoping that you will know it's rural Zimbabwe when you step outside of the house. Inside of the house, I'm going to transport you to somewhere that is high end. Okay. The shower fixtures, we bought those from the UK from B&Q. Then we move into the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Uh, like I told you, we stayed in our home. We moved in, so we that's our bed and stuff. And from the master bedroom, you walk into the walk-in wardrobe. From the walk-in wardrobe, you walk into the ensuite bathroom and shower. Uh -huh. so we're going to have a sliding door here there's no door at the moment but we're going to have a sliding door and we wanted again that luxurious hotel boutique feel to just flow in the whole house so we went for luxury babes we went for luxury we went for a tub that is big enough for both of us because that's something we enjoy doing together we went for that freestanding uh, bath we went for the freestanding bath tap we carried that we flew this one from the uk i find prices for certain things overpriced in zimbabwe guys if i'm totally honest so we managed to actually bring the bathroom accessories ourselves apart from the shower enclosure right so then we go to the through the passage into the living room space now i love color guys but those sofas are not mine they are from my father-in-law's house but we needed something to use during the time we were in the house then we move on to the outside car bathroom so the bathroom was pretty much bare but it was functional but as you can see it was bare there's no toilet seat nothing no toy no no uh, shower uh, enclosure no tiles nothing but it was very much functional so this is what um, our caretaker was using in the contractors. Then we transformed it. Now this tile was like the cheapest tile that you can get in bathroom boutique because the budget was finished. But we managed to wrangle everything together and we got this tile. This tile is beautiful. You can't see the beauty of this tile. The video is not doing it justice. It was beautiful. So I told the young man who's staying there that you really need to look after this bathroom so everything is all done in here it's all completed uh we had we installed a, a toilet seat made everything comfortable and it looks lovely then we move on to the outside sink we got that installed we put the tiles that are inside the small bathroom for aesthetics it looks really nice and it's actually a very good workhorse. We've already started using it for hand washing and all sorts of things. You can hand wash comfortably. Uh -huh. 
Then the as for the solar system, we've got a solar system that is very um good. I'm going to put all the details in the description box below, all the specifications of it. But best believe Zuruvi went all out and chose the best one after he did a lot of research. Now he told me everything about this solar system. I wrote it down and apologies, the paper got lost. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the garage and this is the tile that we chose. So thank you so much, guys, for coming along on this house tour. Um, I want to thank you so much for uh, all the people who participate and um, interact with us in the comments. We appreciate your comments and we read each and every one of them. I want to encourage you to join this community if you haven't. This is a space... Uh, that we're creating for people to be able to, one, um, join like-minded people. Keep your motivation up if you are looking to move back home, whichever stage that you are. Even those people who are not sure, we welcome everyone who has the desire but may not be actioning it at the moment. This is the place for you. So share this video so that it reaches the people it needs to reach, guys. Um, Thank you so much, and I'm going to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. I've got loads of content ready for you guys, because work on the homestead never stops. I'm going to be posting a video for you every Friday, so that after all you know, your hard working and everything, you can come and chill and watch my zoo, what she has been getting up to. So thank you so much. Subscribe and join the community, and I will see you guys in the next video on Friday. Bye.